Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today we've got some truly mind-blowing updates that have been sending shockwaves across the globe. Have you heard about the spine-chilling incident that rocked Jerusalem, leaving Christians worldwide on edge? And what about the unexpected alliance forming against Israel, involving Russia, Iran, Turkey, and others? But wait, there's more. Did you know that beneath the ancient streets of Jerusalem, mysteries have been unearthed by none other than atheists? We're talking about incredible discoveries, like the mesmerizing Pool of Siloam. Intrigued? Stick around as we dive deep into these astonishing revelations. But before we delve into the details, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay updated on all of us latest videos. Now, let's uncover the secrets hidden beneath Jerusalem's surface together. The ancient significance. The Pool of Siloam a site steeped in deep biblical significance, rich archaeological findings, and profound spiritual lessons nestled within the ancient city of Jerusalem. This sacred pool serves as the stage for one of Jesus' most inspiring miracles and stands as a testament to God's divine intervention and protection in the Old Testament. In the Gospel of John, we encounter the captivating story of Jesus healing a man blind from birth at the Pool of Siloam. As Jesus and his disciples pass by, they noticed the blind man, prompting his disciples to inquire whether his blindness stems from his own sins or those of his parents. Jesus responds that neither is the case. Rather, the man's condition presents an opportunity to manifest God's work. Demonstrating his divine authority, Jesus creates mud with his saliva, applies it to the man's eyes, and instructs him to wash in the pool of Siloam. Through faith and obedience, the man experiences the miraculous restoration of his sight, illustrating the profound connection between faith, obedience, and God's miraculous interventions. The Pool of Siloam's significance transcends the New Testament, reaching back to the Old Testament era. King Hezekiah of Judah, discerning the impending threat of an Assyrian invasion, takes proactive measures to fortify Jerusalem. His engineers construct a tunnel to divert water from the Gihon Spring to the western side of the city of David, securing Jerusalem's water supply. This remarkable engineering feat, undertaken in reliance on God's guidance, results in the creation of the Pool of Siloam, as mentioned in 2 Kings 2020. Hezekiah's faith-driven actions lay the foundation for the pool, which would later become the backdrop for Jesus' miraculous healing. The intertwining narratives of the Old and New Testaments underscore the interconnected nature of the Bible and the overarching theme of divine providence woven throughout its pages. From Hezekiah's prudent foresight to Jesus' profound acts of compassion and healing, the Pool of Siloam stands as a tangible symbol of God's sovereignty and intervention in human affairs. As we navigate through the layers of meaning, history, and spiritual insights embodied by the Pool of Siloam, we are reminded of the enduring relevance of these ancient narratives and their profound implications for our lives today. In every ripple of its waters and in every stone of its walls, the Pool of Siloam echoes with the timeless truths of faith, obedience, and the boundless power of God's miraculous interventions. Archaeological Discoveries In 2004, a momentous archaeological revelation shook the historical community during a routine excavation in Jerusalem, the unearthing of the ancient Pool of Siloam. This discovery not only affirmed the pool's existence, but also provided invaluable insights into its biblical and historical significance. Archaeologists were astounded by the remarkably preserved site, which yielded a treasure trove of information about the pool and its environs. Since its initial discovery, ongoing excavations have yielded further revelations about the construction, usage, and importance of the Pool of Siloam in antiquity. Its unveiling has played a pivotal role in corroborating the historical accuracy of biblical narratives. The pool's design, featuring steps descending into its waters, aligns with the descriptions of a first-century public water reservoir, lending credence to biblical accounts such as the healing of the blind man described in the Gospel of John. Moreover, the excavation unveiled an ancient street connecting the Pool of Siloam to the Temple Mount, likely traversed by countless pilgrims, including Jesus and his followers, on their way to Jerusalem's religious center. This archaeological evidence provides tangible links to the narratives of the New Testament, emphasizing the historical authenticity of biblical events. The healing at the Pool of Siloam serves as a poignant testament to the divine healing power attributed to Jesus. This narrative continues to inspire modern healing ministries, which aim to emulate Christ's compassionate care for the afflicted. While the methodologies may differ, the underlying message remains consistent. 
God is the ultimate source of healing and restoration. In contemporary society, healing ministries manifest in various forms, ranging from church-based initiatives to non-profit organizations. These groups offer support, hope, and care to individuals grappling with illness or disability, echoing the compassionate ethos exemplified by Jesus during His earthly ministry. The historical significance of the Pool of Siloam extends beyond its biblical associations. Initially constructed by King Hezekiah of Judah in the 8th century BC as a vital water source, it later evolved into a site for ritual bathing, as evidenced by its use during Jesus' time. The excavation unearthed the famous Siloam inscription, providing further historical context to the construction of the water tunnel that supplied the pool. For centuries, the precise location of the original pool of Siloam remained elusive. While traditional beliefs placed it at a Byzantine era site, recent excavations have unveiled its true location near the city of David, southeast of the traditional site. Recent findings confirm that the pool was larger than previously thought, spanning 225 feet in width and approximately 1.25 acres in area, with steps on at least three sides for visitors to sit and immerse themselves in the water. The significance of the Pool of Siloam extends beyond its individual importance. It serves as a crucial piece in understanding the broader historical and biblical context of ancient Jerusalem. Professor Gerson Galil, head of the Institute for Biblical Studies and Ancient History at Higher University in Israel, emphasizes the importance of these finds in establishing the historical reality depicted in biblical texts. These discoveries offer tangible connections to the stories of the Old and New Testaments, enriching our appreciation of the historical and religious heritage encapsulated within these ancient stones. As these sites are gradually open to the public, visitors will have the opportunity to witness, touch, and walk upon the very stones that bear witness to the events chronicled in biblical history. Confirmation and Exploration The unearthing of the Second Temple Period Pool of Siloam sheds new light on the biblical narrative of Jesus healing the blind man as recorded by John. Its expansive size and strategic location along the pilgrimage road leading to the temple offer a better understanding of its historical significance. However, questions remain about its specific use, especially considering the practice of mikveh ritual bathing, which typically required nudity. Further excavation and research are needed to uncover the full extent of its function. Traditionally, the Christian site associated with the Pool of Siloam was a pool and church built by the Byzantine Empress Eudocia in the 5th century AD, commemorating the miracle described in John 9. Nonetheless, the exact location of the original pool from Jesus' time remained a mystery until its rediscovery in 2004. Eudocia's pool, which still stands today, is distinct from the Second Temple Period Pool of Siloam, situated around 70 yards away and smaller in scale. According to the Gospel of John, Jesus encountered a man blind from birth near the Pool of Siloam. When questioned about the cause of the man's blindness, Jesus explained that it was an opportunity for God's work to be revealed. He then performed the miraculous healing, directing the blind man to wash in the Pool of Siloam, resulting in his sight being restored. Water holds profound symbolic significance in the Bible, representing God's transformative power and purification. This symbolism is evident in various biblical narratives, including baptism and ritual washing practices. The story of Jesus healing the blind man at the Pool of Siloam underscores the themes of faith, obedience, and spiritual renewal. The Pool of Siloam, with its archaeological and spiritual importance, serves as a tangible connection to Jerusalem's biblical heritage. As visitors explore the excavation site, they are invited to reflect on the enduring presence of God throughout history and in their own lives. Located in the City of David National Park near the Old City of Jerusalem, the site offers a captivating journey through time, complemented by archaeological exhibits and knowledgeable guides. Ultimately, the miracle at the Pool of Siloam stands as a testament to Jesus' divine power and compassion. It reminds believers to trust in God's timing and plan seek spiritual renewal, and embrace the miracles that unfold in their lives. As visitors walk in the footsteps of biblical history at the Pool of Siloam, may they find inspiration and reaffirm their faith in the timeless truths it represents. As we conclude our exploration of the Pool of Siloam and its significance, may you carry with you a deeper appreciation for the intertwining of biblical narratives and historical discovery. As you continue your own spiritual journey, May you find peace and assurance in the enduring truths embodied by the Pool of Siloam.
Thank you for joining us on this enlightening exploration, and may you be blessed as you walk in the footsteps of faith.